Brazos River is expected to reach minor flood le levels later this week. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers continues our team coverage from Richmond. Brittany, we understand the Brazos is expected to crest Friday morning. Yeah, this is something that emergency officials are keeping their eye on. We're here in the storm tracker right now because we are seeing a lot of rain. You could probably hear the thunder and there's a lot of lightning out here as well. But you're looking at the river. And as I mentioned, that is going to be the focus for these emergency and county officials for the next five days. Like I said, I've been here since 1973 and uh, never, ever felt as threatened by the river rising as I do today. As the Brazos River swells near this neighborhood in Richmond, Harvey says he's yeah, thankful he finally decided to get flood insurance. It will come from the back way. He's watched that water rise here before, and with the threat of rain throughout the week, he's not the only one watching. A block away from his house, we found City of Richmond crews assessing the water levels. In Rosenberg, crews placed barricades at Becerra and Brazos Park just as a precaution. And Fort Bend County officials are also keenly aware. Right now, uh, the Fort Bend County Office of Emergency Management is activated at readiness level 3 and uh, monitoring Brazos River and the rainfall. The Fort Bend County judge and emergency management coordinator say that part of the monitoring is using drones as eyes on riverbanks and along neighborhoods, keeping close watch over the Brazos and potential impact countywide. The river comes all the way through our county, so it impacts not only the city of Simonton, unincorporated areas, the city of Rosenberg, the city of Richmond, all the way down through the city of Sugar Land, all the way to Rocheron. Harvey says he'll be waiting and watching the forecast. I guess that's the choice you got, you make when you live by the river. Now, emergency officials did reiterate today that they don't want anyone to panic. However, they do want people to take this seriously, to be cautious. They say they will be sending out situation reports twice a day, but of course, that could change. We're putting live here on Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.